Vaping has chemicals in it that can harm the part that develops in your brain. How do you feel about vaping at Madison? Um, I think it's become a real problem, and I think there's a lot of people really addicted. How can APS in Madison improve the vaping policy? Um, I think they should offer help to these students who feel like they need to turn to like a nicotine device to go through their problems. Have you ever vaped in your life? No, I have not tried any nicotine vapes. Do you know anybody who smokes or vapes? Um, yes I do. Unfortunately, I know a lot of people very addicted. It's a, it's a really big problem. What advice can you give to students to stop vaping? Do your research. Like, if you research some of the stuff that they put in there, I'm sure it's going to scare you away from doing it because it, I don't know, just knowledge is power. Vapes contain nicotine and makes them highly addictive. What is your opinion on vaping at Madison? Uh, I feel like it's a big problem and that teachers should try to stop it. How can we stop vaping at Madison? Uh, the teachers should check the bathrooms more and like pay more attention. Do you know anyone who vapes or have you vaped? No. Do you know any ways that vaping can harm your body? Uh, I know it can give you like lung cancer and mouth cancer. Have you ever been offered a vape? Yes. Vaping can also cause lung disease as well as heart disease. Uh, do you know any ways vaping can harm your body? It uh, disrupts your brain development and it hurts your lungs. Um, have you ever caught somebody vaping? Yes. Do you know anyone that struggles with any addiction? Yes. How can APS improve the vaping policy? Uh, by having stricter roles for kids who get caught vaping at school. Okay. Vaping is bad and unhealthy and shouldn't be used by people who are young. It can also lead to health issues and poor brain development.